Hello. I am audible to you. Hello. Hello. Did you hear me? Abs absolutely, I can hear you. Excellent. Uh, my name is Calgan. I'm from Australia. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so good to see you as well. Yes. Uh, how? What is your name? My name is Vishal. Vishal. Where are you, Vishal? Uh, I am on my terrace. Yes, but uh, which country and which city? Uh, which city? My city name is New Delhi and I am from India. Oh yeah, New Delhi, I know it. Yeah. Uh, New Delhi is the capital of India? Exact, exactly. Right, okay. Vishal, this, uh, this is your first lesson with DMM. Exactly. Yes, so welcome. DMM. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, uh, and thank you for choosing me. Yeah, it's I my honor. It. Yeah, it's my honor and privilege to talk with such a experienced person, Mr. Kalgan. Uh, well, your English already very good. <laughs> thank you. Uh, do you learn English uh, at school? Uh, you know about uh, I have learned English from my childhood in school and for speaking purpose, purpose I have started one year past like one year ago I have started my English journey of speaking purpose. Okay, excellent. And have you been to uh, Australia? Uh, not yet. I have not been yet to Australia. Okay. How about another country? Uh, to be honest with you, I have uh, not yet traveled any uh, like overseas, any abroad country. But if I get a chance, I will definitely would like to go in Australia. Actually, I'm from Australia, but I live in Bali in Indonesia. Uh, can you please uh, write it down this word, Bali? Bali, exactly. Got it. Got it, sir. In Indonesia. Got it, sir. Absolutely. Yes. So I live. I live in Indonesia, but I'm from Australia. Okay. So yeah. how long have um, you, yeah, sir? Uh, how long have you been living here? Uh, two years now. Two years. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because. The weather is very warm and uh, everything is very cheap here. Okay. Mm. Uh, Vishal, how is the COVID-19 situation in New Delhi? Uh, uh, to be honest with you about situation, you know, uh, 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 nowadays like uh, there is a one time there is no cases come to in India. But nowadays, again, gradually, cases are becoming more and more, more and more. Right. So, India is closed for international tourists. Can you please repeat it again, sir? Uh, India is closed for international tourists. Exactly. Yeah. Same with many countries, unfortunately. Vishal, are you working in New Delhi? You have a job? Uh, I'm a full-time student. Oh, excellent. In a university? In a university. Oh, and what do you study? Uh, there is a university called Hindu University, the name of that university, in which I'm studying. Okay. What subject are you studying? Uh, my majors are uh, uh, history and English literature. Oh, beautiful! I really like history. Me too. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, very interesting. Yeah, it's a very really intriguing and mysterious. Also, you will know much more fact about related to your ancestors and many things you will learn. Yeah, that's right. I think India has a more rich history than Australia. 
Yeah, uh, India has a yeah exactly. Australia is still a very young country, you know. Yeah. Uh, they had a aborigine. They had abor uh, aborigine there for thousands of years, but aborigine was nomadic and they did not build anything. Exactly. So we yeah. So if you uh, sir, if you are interested, I would like to tell you something about uh, there is a uh, civilization in India, and uh, what is called Harappa civilization. H A double R P A Harappa civilization. Harappa, yeah. Uh, that is. Uh, that's from. That's. Yeah. From history, is it? exactly that is a history civilization and uh, it is a contemporary to a uh, egyptian egyptian like a wow yeah yeah wow i will uh, look it up on google sure and you know yeah. if you l like to know about uh, this thing i would like to tell you about it that is one of the you can yeah. say most uh, uh, highly innovative and advanced uh, and advanced civilization ever right so did they build many buildings uh, you know about uh, uh, you know about they not believe in war like uh, at that time the uh, l like uh, tool are found like tools not like weapon found in that time they are like brotherhood person they like to uh, they like to make like relationship with the cordial with their like uh, neighboring neighboring like countries or states they like to make cordial relationship yes good so more advanced than today <laughs> exactly yeah uh, i will look it up on google uh, later tonight sure so Vishal, I saw you a little bit about this material. So you choose this uh, this exercise about Australia, right? Exactly. Okay. So exercise one: have a short conversation based on the question below. So have you been to Australia? No, I already asked you that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what comes What comes to your mind when you think about Australia? What comes to my mind? Ozzy, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. Come on, man! You got you got that from the cricket, right? <laughs> exactly. Ozzy, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. And second thing, see, yeah. uh, what is most uh, quite fascinating for me? Kangaroo and wallaby. Yes, kangaroo and wallaby, very famous. Yeah. Let me see if I can show you a photo here. Sure, sure. Uh, where, where is it? Oh, this one. This is my favorite animal from Australia. Oh, that's it's amazing. Called, it's, it's called a wombat. Wombat. Such a beautiful animal. Yeah, that's looking so adorable and so like cute and noble something. Yes. So the first thing that comes to mind when I think about India is Indian food. Okay. Yes. Uh, in Australia, Indian food is very popular. Okay. So, uh, especially, uh -huh. especially butter chicken. Butter chicken? Very popular. Exactly, it is famous all around the world, butter chicken. Yes. So, the first thing I think of when I think of India is Indian food. And the second thing is maybe the clothes, the traditional Indian clothes. Exactly. 
uh, your shirt is also like something traditional looking something your shirt what are you wearing maybe, now maybe, maybe balinese from bali exactly there is something design of of some things like there is artwork on it yes so it's more uh, indonesian design yeah that's amazing yeah it's a very light shirt because it's very hot here always hot exactly so we have to use like cotton type of clothes what are you wearing now yes yes exactly okay so exercise to here this vocabulary okay so uh, you can repeat after me okay uh, sir uh, i would like to tell you you know i have re- read this vocabulary just uh, before class session so i would like uh-huh. to skip this one uh-huh. vocabulary exercise and i would like to directly go on uh, slang from australia okay sure uh so just quickly can you just read the words and i'll just listen okay uh, so you know i have read that article by myself so i want to uh, 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 listen your like uh, own opinion like your elaboration on like your defining like selfie uh, so if you have to say sir something about selfie what do you say about uh, selfie so what why do you think it is come from australia and how okay. does it, it become popular all around the world okay uh just first though in exercise 2 uh can you just read those words to me because i want to listen okay sure sure. sure 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 uh, unusual 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 yeah 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 travel travel uh huh local local yeah accent 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 yeah okay popularity popularity beautiful yeah beautiful this okay so you already did the you already read this article yes sir so selfie let me just bring it here selfie popularity of social media has made selfie very common english word selfie was part of australian english the earliest known was that he taken up himself online calling it a selfie common slang <laughs> well i'm not really sure but i know in australia yes, they sir. like to put they like to put e on the end of things like you know football yes sir we we call it footy footy like uh, i e yeah uh, like footy yeah but in that example it's more like this footy okay like your, like hoodie also the, hoodie word also is a same hoodie yeah hoodie or if your name is smith they will call you smithy smithy yeah so part of the australian slang is they they always like to put e on the end, on the end of everything okay so maybe that's where selfie came from Uh, and like in o- ozzy ozzy also ozzy 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 yeah exactly ozzy <laughs> <laughs> for australia ozzy exactly mm. so i assume that's why that happened yeah that makes a totally sense so yeah 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 uh and so this one how yeah. do you pronounce this one stogged 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 Yes. So to be stuck is to be really happy. For example, you might say I'm stoked if you're excited about the holiday plans. Okay. 
and other expressions such as ripa, which means very good or great. Stoked was first used by Aussie surfers. That's right. <laughs> and uh, see, I like to surf. See my surfboard. Uh, oh, so. oh, that's uh, behind you. Can you show me l- yeah. l- l- like a little bit more, if it is possible for you, sir? Okay, wait one second. Sure, sure. Oh, that's a magnificent. That's a totally. I really like it. What the art work on it? That's actually my new board. That one. Oh, <laughs> you are lo- looking like such a kinda uh, adventurous person. Uh, yes, I have been in my life, but I'm very old now, so. <laughs> I'm a lot more relaxed these days, <laughs> but mm-hmm. it's funny because uh, Australian surfer we still say stoked, but stoked. S- still some Australian people don't understand what you mean when you say stoked. But I think it's definitely a Aussie saying for sure. Okay, so can you please uh, tell him again, like a uh, stoked. Like people are not understanding, some people are not understand till now. Yes, it's more of a surfer saying, okay. and maybe young people. But okay. uh, more people in Australia start to understand it. My mother, who is very old, if I said I'm stoked, I'm not sure she will understand. It's like a new one, something. Uh, it's not that new, but it's it's not hugely popular. Like not many people use it. Like it's not a, like common use for daily life for m- not much. Mm, maybe for half the population. Okay. Mm. Got it. So you know. And rip. Yeah, I would like to know, sir, if uh, uh, anyone is asking me, uh, like, uh, how you doing? Like, uh, how you feeling? Uh, th- then I can say, uh, I'm Reaper. I'm Reaper. It is right? Uh, usually, usually Reaper does not um, mean how you feeling. It's more about, like, if we are watching the cricket, and it's a good game, you can say, oh, it's a Reaper game. Okay. Yeah, Reaper is not really... Uh, um, for how you feeling? It's like a say, uh, admiring drum something. Yes, yes, exactly. This is a ripper lesson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is a ripper lesson with you. And have you ever seen Australian football, Vishal? Uh, no, sir. I'm not into that type of things. <laughs> what about the cricket? What about the cricket? Uh, uh, you know, I am nowadays I am not watching any sports. Like sometimes uh, before I watch WWE. Uh, actually, I used to watch WWE. I used to really like it. Uh-huh. And I'm not sure if he's still around, but my favorite wrestler was Undertaker. Oh, <laughs> sometimes you know. Undertaker, come again and retire. Come oh, again yeah? and retire. Still. Wow, still going. Yeah, still going. Amazing. Okay, and this one? No worries. No worries. It means like, uh, uh, don't be much pressure yourself. No worries. It's a easy task. No worries. Be like a... That's right. Yeah. So... And in the example, it's, uh, you can, Australia, many Australian people, uh, if somebody says, oh, thank you for that, you can say, yeah, no worries. No worries. Okay, it means like, uh, yeah. uh, I uh, I have not done like much effort. It's like, you don't have to say like, thank you. It's like, 
not hard paying like uh, hard task for me it's uh, like not uh, much uh, uh, pay attention task it's uh, so easy for me it means like uh, no worries like i pay no attention like no worries that's right or if i say uh vishal thank you for choosing me as your tutor you can say oh yeah no worries oh yeah no worries you know uh, yesterday uh, i have reading uh, like something uh, uh, in the da- diary of any frank and there is a w- new world like term come come to me i would like to share with you okay can you put in the chat sure sure just give me a minute here you go my sir cut it out yeah you know uh, like uh, um, anne frank and his uh, boyfriend name is peter and uh, uh, she is helping peter for l- learning about uh, uh, french and uh, uh, and peter th- uh, uh, giving uh, thank you uh, thanks her like uh, thousands of times he say like thanks a lot uh, thanks a million many many times to anne frank for learning french and then anne say anne frank say cut it out means like uh, there is like no use of saying this they uh, saying this like cut it out there is no need it means like uh, um, uh, you don't have to say like cut it out just leave it about thank you some just leave it yeah yeah or you know just uh, stop it yeah yes uh, but the I, diary of anne frank is very uh, famous book yeah as far as i'm concerned after bible that is one of the most uh, like reading book ever okay i think the internet just cut out a little bit exactly sir but but uh yeah the diary of and frank very famous book i think exactly after you know i am saying to you when internet is glitching Uh, after bible that is one of the most reading book ever wow have you read the whole book have you finished it uh, you know about there is uh, around uh, pretty much uh, 280 pages 80 pages and i have col- completed something like uh, 170 or something okay and is it good book Uh, you can say uh, it's a totally good book and you will uh, feel about life you know i have learned a thing from that book people will stop you for, like uh, sh- sh- like shut up your mouth mouth but they don't like uh, uh, stop you f- from having an uh, opinion your own opinion right yes so you will say it's a ripper book Yeah, it's a totally ripper book. Exactly, that is totally amazing. <laughs> That's so practical. Excellent, Vishal, you bloody Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please write it down, this uh, bloody Aussie? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I can't because I will get in trouble <laughs> for that. <laughs> Why, sir? Ah, uh, because that's a little bit swearing. Okay, it's like a little bit uh, like something little to vulgarity. A little bit, slightly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it means like uh, uh, as I can imagine, like uh, like uh, bloody O C. Uh, there is a one word also like we can say kick ass. Like uh, there is a one learner who is totally passionate, and uh, there is a teacher from Aust- uh, America. He say like you are a kick ass learner. Learner. means you are uh, totally passionate like dedicated to learn but you know people uh, think like that that is a negative form of using this okay uh bloody is not really negative i mean australia use it every day uh but it's <laughs> okay visa uh thanks for choosing me and uh, stay safe i hope to see you again okay sure sir do be honest from the deep of my heart you put your soul and uh, your heart into this lesson and I, i can't describe in words how i'm grateful for you for choosing you oh yeah no worries <laughs> no worries <laughs> again practical way that's amazing okay i i see you again sure sir
Well, I will, well, have a wonderful day with full, full of blossoms, blossoms, full of blossoms. Thank you. Thank you, Sure. And in future, I will do ton of reservation for you. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.